no dry skin, no flare ups, no breakouts, just a natural cream that actually works. Hi guys and welcome to Whole Elise. I'm Elise and today we're making an all natural face moisturizer. So the goal of this tutorial is to get a very basic face cream formula that you know will work well with your skin because nobody needs an acne flare up. And getting your base formula down filled with natural ingredients that you know work well with your skin and won't cause any sort of irritation is a crucial step in crafting your own skincare moving forward. So with that said, let's get straight into the tutorial. Here's how to make a basic all natural face cream recipe. As always, let's start off by measuring the ingredients for our face cream. For the water, you can either use distilled water or freshly boiled water that has cooled. We'll also need colloidal oatmeal, more on this later, as well as glycerin or honey, avocado butter, grapeseed oil and emulsifying wax. To keep our face moisturiser light and airy, I've had to reduce the amount of oils and butters that I use in this recipe. However, you can still boost the moisturising power of your cream without relying on oils but instead using oats. Oats have incredible benefits for your skin. They're packed full of lipids and antioxidants that can repair your skin's natural barrier. On top of that, they're incredibly moisturising while still being suitable for people with oily skin. I'd highly recommend buying colloidal oatmeal because adding just one gram can boost the effects of any moisturiser. To learn more about the benefits of oats, how to incorporate them into your skincare, as well as what you can use as an alternative to colloidal oatmeal, do watch my oat moisturiser tutorial above because I do go into more detail. At this stage, we'll keep our water and oil soluble ingredients separate. For the water phase, add your colloidal oatmeal and the honey or glycerin. Both are natural humectants that attract water to your skin. They're great to add to creams and lotions as a way to boost their hydration. Whisk until everything is combined. Now compared to the other body moisturisers that I've made on this channel, this has a much lower butter to oil ratio and that's just because we don't want any chance of this clogging our pores. Grapeseed oil is one of the best oils that you can use in face creams because it works well with all skin types including acne prone and sensitive skin. It's a good place to start especially if you're not sure which oils will work best with your skin. Now I do talk more about this and give you the full breakdown on oils in my oil cleansing videos so do check that out for more information. But of course, if you do have a preferred oil that already works well with your skin, like almond or jojoba or even coconut oil, you can of course substitute the grapeseed oil with that. Butters, also known as solid oils, are also an important part of moisturisers. They form a physical barrier on your skin to keep your moisture in, but they also help to stabilise the formula. Now I chose avocado butter because it's nutrient rich, but it's also the lightest of butters out of shea butter, cocoa butter and mango butter. It melts on contact with your skin and spreads really easily, making it a great choice for a light facial moisturiser. If you already know that a particular butter works best for your skin, then just substitute the avocado butter with that, keep all the measurements the same and continue on with this recipe. Just note that the butter that you choose can have an effect on your final face cream. For our oil phase, to the avocado butter, add the emulsifying wax. This is what we use to combine our water and oil ingredients so that they stay together in our cream without separating. Follow this with the grapeseed oil. For a breakdown on each individual ingredient, check out the link above to my beginner's lotion video. Use a gentle heat to melt our water and oil ingredients. Once everything is melted and at the same temperature, combine the oil and water phase and whisk to make sure that they're fully incorporated. To create a light and airy face cream, we'll need to incorporate some air into our melted ingredients. You can either use a whisk or immersion blender. As the mixture cools, it will start to thicken and go from a see-through yellow colour to a milky white. Once you have your desired thickness, we can move on to preserving our face cream and adding fragrance. 
So if you're following along with my tutorial, this entire recipe produces about 200 grams of face cream. You can of course scale this recipe up and down depending on how much you need. However, I would always recommend not making lotions and creams in too big a batch. And that's because it's generally recommended that you replace your moisturizer every six months. Even with store-bought creams, you'll notice that their shelf life is usually only about six to 12 months after opening. So making smaller batches that you can remake whenever you need is usually the better option. This entire recipe only uses six grams of avocado butter. Out of all of my ingredients, avocado butter will probably be the most expensive, although it generally is very affordable. I just cannot stress enough how cost effective it is to make your own skincare, but especially lotions. This entire recipe was 80% water, so it really doesn't take many ingredients to make something that is truly moisturizing and will do a great job. Even very thick and heavy moisturizers still tend to be about 60 to 70% water. So it is just incredibly cheap to make your own lotions and I would highly recommend that you try it. Adding a natural preservative allows our face cream to last for several months and be stored at room temperature. Without it, your moisturizer will have the shelf life of a bowl of soup. Vitamin E oil works as an antioxidant to protect our oil ingredients from turning rancid. If you'd like to add any fragrances, this would be the stage. I'm using a combination of vanilla, lavender and bergamot essential oils. You can use whichever you like or skip this step entirely. Just make sure not to add more than 2 grams or 1% of your face cream as this will cause irritation on your face. Once all of your ingredients have been added, mix everything together and make sure that they're fully incorporated. It's best to store your face cream in an airtight container. A pump bottle would also be a great choice, especially if you want to avoid unnecessary contact with your cream. To apply, take a small amount and gently massage the cream into your face in circular motions. And this face cream works in conjunction with either using my natural face cleanser or the oil cleansing method. This is the first step to demystifying skincare and being able to take control when it comes to your skin's needs and also identifying products that you actually want and need in your skincare. I am planning on building on this basic face cream recipe by adding in additional natural ingredients to target things like acne or discoloration or scarring and so forth. So do make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and you have the notifications bell turned on so you know as soon as those videos come out. But while you wait, why not check out more of my natural skincare tutorials? Thanks for watching! For even more creams and lotions, check out my natural skincare playlist below.